So I've been reading a lot of the blogs, watching a lot of the videos, trying to gauge how the public and the media are reacting to uh, Ron Paul and, and his characterization of, uh, of uh, the terrorist threat being um, blowback and that we have to reevaluate American foreign policy before we just go declaring war and attacking other countries. Um, and you know, this, this to me is really a debate about what it means to be an American. Um, and, you know, I talked in, in, in the last videos uh, about revisioning American politics, that this sort of um, the politics that identify with, with an image is a bad thing, you know, because the candidates just uh, they try to paint this picture of, of, uh, of a personality that, that will be uh, well received by the public. Uh, but then that, that image never lines up with their, their with the practice or with the action and the policies that they actually uh, put into place, and you know that is a bad thing. But Ron Paul has an image too. But I think his image is honest because he is trying to bring back the, the bring us back to the roots of the American experiment. I think to, to the Constitution, and that's why this debate is really about what it means to be an American and, and what it means. What, what our whole system of government means. What, what is America? You know, are we a bunch of culturally isolated uh, potato chip eating couch potatoes who, who allow the TV land to define reality for us? Or are we uh, active participants in, in an actual democracy that uh, is trying to guide the world into a better future? Because, you know, we could be either one. Um, it depends on us, and it depends on us taking back the collective con conception of what it means to be an American from, from the media, because the media has painted this picture of America as this, this godly, morally superior nation that can make no mistakes. And, uh, you know, I was watching um, Wolf Blitzer interviewed, interviewed uh, Ron Paul after the debate, and, uh, you know, the way he was framing his questions... It was as if he had already decided on, on what had happened because, um, you know, Hannity and, and Giuliani and, and the whole Fox News presentation of the, uh, of the debate really framed, it gave it an interpretation and said, uh, Ron Paul is an extremist and, and you know, he's, he's, really, he's really way out there and, and he doesn't really line up with, with, with America, but... And then, then Wolf Blitzer took that as, as, as the base interpretation, the baseline interpretation, and that all of a sudden becomes the truth. And Ron Paul is labeled as being extreme. And, you know, again, it comes back to this question of what it means to be an American. Is it really that extreme for Ron Paul to suggest that America is not the kind of country that, that should spend $500 billion a year on, on building weapons and is not the kind of country that, that preemptively invades foreign nations that had uh, nothing to do with 9-11 with and I mean that's the real question what does it mean to be an American and uh, we've got to really evaluate that question as a, as a nation because it's it's really coming to the fore right now in, in the public debate and uh, we got to figure it out and, and we've really got to do everything we can to counteract um, the monopoly on truth that, that the uh, mainstream networks, the TV land, thinks it has over reality. Because, you know, the networks don't define reality. We define reality. And, you know, whether it's making more videos, whether it's just talking to people on the street, um, we have to redefine ourselves to redefine America. So, you know, let's, let's get on that, guys. Let's do this. And, you know, at the end of the day, this isn't even about Ron Paul. This is about America. And would I vote for Ron Paul if I get the chance to? Yeah, of course. Do I endorse him? I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's the best candidate I've seen in a long time. In 2004, I voted for Kerry, but I wasn't happy about it. It was, it was one of those lesser of two evils things that it seems the American public is always forced uh, into uh, dealing with in all of our elections because... 
you seem so disillusioned by the political system and and you know whenever a voice of truth comes through it, it's so uplifting to a lot of us and uh, you know let's keep lifting and uh, again it's not for me it's not so much about Ron Paul I'm, I'd vote for him again like I said but it's more about just redefining what it means to be an American and and not letting this this mass mind that, that the that the, the media tries to uh, create and instill in us to control us because it's really destructive. We gotta start thinking for ourselves. We gotta start uh, being a democracy again. You know, and a democracy requires people that are involved, people that believe in what they stand for and, and that, that don't have this separation between public and private life anymore. You know, we can't do that anymore. The world is too big, the world is too connected and um, we gotta start uh, coming together and, and making something happen here. So thanks guys.